Hey there folks, Paul is here once again. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about multi-scale guitars. Oh wait, I've done that before. What do you mean I've done that before? Oh, terrible flashbacks to a tiny apartment in a very small bedroom and talking about multi-scales before I even owned one. Little did I know that multi-scale guitars were gonna save my life, basically. Yeah, it sounds really overdramatic, doesn't it? But that's basically what ended up happening, right? So. Picture this, I get told I have to perform at NAMM and I only have so many songs I can perform from my catalog that are in standard on a seven string. So I pick up my great seven string, my 070 from Aristides. I'm an artist, I'm an artist, baby, yeah. I start practicing, I start to put in the work and in one moment, there's just this crazy amount of pain in my hand and I get tendonitis and I start to panic and uh, even before this it was already coming up as an issue and, and I had to stop playing guitar basically for weeks and weeks and weeks and and I've addressed tendonitis in a previous video of course so this is all a, a concurrent theme in terms of a series of videos here but how the hell would a multi-scale guitar save my life rather than just playing regular old six string tuned down let me tell you bub it's a lot more important to me to play a multi-scale now than it ever has been before and I like Floyd's I like bridges that go woo woo but like, I mean, I just don't write that much music with them, so I don't have to use them. There's the trick. What's the point with multi-scales? Well, let me tell you. The tension. Tension is everything on the guitar. Tension is what makes the notes sound good, sound bad, sound delightful, sound really like oh, painful sometimes. You know, tension is what it's all about. And in this case, it's string tension because like you need the right amount of tension to get to that pitch. You need to intonate the guitar string so that it will be even across the board and all that stuff. And on a straight scale guitar, it's not going to be as fundamentally good for your hands, I would say, from a therapeutic point of view, as a multi-scale. So right next to me here is my RSTD's 080S, which I believe is 25 and a half to 28 inches which is like pretty sizable. It might be a little less, might be a bit more. I, I don't exactly remember. It might even be 26 and a half to 28. But I have some really light strings on the top and an 80 on the bottom because this is currently an F standard, which is like eight string tuning down half of steps. So like E flat standard. Ingve tuning. And there's good reason for it. There's good reason for this multi-scale. There's a reason why I keep on coming back to this guitar and not to other guitars. It's because it doesn't hurt my hands, man. Tendonitis is something so debilitating that like I, I, I can't work out and play a 26 and a half inch scale guitar, you know, because the, the, my hands just, and you can blame improper technique as much as you want, but my hands are a lot more fragile than they were when I was 16, 17 years old, pulling in those six hours a day, practicing my ass off to get good at this thing. So think about it like this, multi-scales ended up saving my hands I was practicing and recording with this guitar before the Neural DSP demo that I did at NAMM and I was able to get through all of it, no problem. The only thing I have an issue with currently is like legato is a big challenge. I don't want to overextend myself and overdo it with my left hand because I just know that I'm going to screw up my shit. And knowing that is super important, so multi-scales, man. There's a reason why I'm now selling my Aristides 070, it's because I want to get an 070S, I want multi-scales, man. That's it. The tension is just so much more holistic to great guitar playing and so much more beneficial to me as a player. You can obviously tune down a lot more easily. You can, you can use whatever string gauges you want, man. Do whatever you want. But like, for me, it's just a, a godsend of a thing. So that's why multi-scales, because it saved my hands, which saved my ability to then play it, man, which then gave me some more confidence and made me feel a lot better as a person and as a human being for all the things that happened there afterwards. Now I have this tour coming up with Nightmare and I'm really excited about it and I'm playing with a multi-scale guitar. You will not catch me playing straight scales live if I can help it because it's just, unless it's a six string, oh man, you're gonna have to really, really pay me a lot of money to play a non-multi-scale <laughs> non guitar now because it's just, it just makes way too much sense for my hands and for the longevity of my career to start playing multi-scales. Now, you might not have the funds for a guitar that's like 3,000 euros or whatever, but like I would argue that getting a really high-end, super high-end six string or seven string or eight string 
if you get it as a multi-scale, you won't regret it. Go and try one out and, and see for yourself what starts to happen with your technique and with your hands. I always try to practice with the least amount of tension as possible, but this was like, this was such a game changer, folks. Like, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. The only thing that's pissing me off is I really want some Fisherman slanted pickups for my 080S here, because that would be really fun to have, but they don't do that. So, wow, one day, hopefully, maybe. Um, but yeah, so, so honestly, multi-scale guitars, helped to save my career basically and my life in a in a moment of, of exhaustion and burnout i was given an opportunity that reignited my passion for playing got tendonitis playing a straight scale 26 and a half that really sucked i got through it i healed myself i played a multi-scale i have had no issues since and i mean what else can i tell you folks it, wh whether you're going for a cheapo multi-scale or an absurdly priced multi-scale or a mid-range doesn't matter if you like to play heavy music if you like to play jazz I, I play everything on this guitar blues is incredible on this instrument death metal is incredible on, in, on this instrument the point is is, is uh, you pivot your your mentality a little bit just because the frets aren't straight doesn't mean anything they're they're gonna be helping you out so much more than just uh, better intonation for your pitch of your low ass tuning if you're in a deathcore band no man it's quite literally all about just like being able to continue to play. It's just, it's miraculous. And, and a lot of people have been like, well, you can just lighten the gauge and lighten the gauge. Yeah, but, that, but I'm not gonna do that on a 26 and a half inch scale guitar. I, I need it to sound right. And if it can't, if, if it's sounding right causes damage in my hands, forget about sounding right. I just wanna be able to play guitar, man. This is my favorite thing to do. I've spent 15 years doing it. I plan on spending at least another 15, 20 years doing it. So in terms of a holistic approach to the guitar and a better longevity kind of approach to the guitar, I would highly recommend trying any multi-scale you can get your hands on. If you have a buddy who has one, ask to play it for 20 minutes. Try to get used to it and see how it starts to benefit your hands. For me, it's all, again, about tension and about making sure that the tension's right for your hands. And straight scale guitars are not cutting it for me at all anymore. And as someone who has suffered from tendonitis three times, I think now, it's really a game changing kind of thing. And I'm only beginning to appreciate it now after the third time of tendonitis where I'm like, what the hell is actually going on in my hands? Why is this happening to me? And I'm realizing it's just bending sometimes, just as, oh man, does it suck. Anyway. That's all for now, folks. This, this little episode of Paula's talking at the camera is brought to you by uh, really appreciating the fact that I can continue to play guitar. <laughs> if you like this video and if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video if you found it to be helpful or insightful in any kind of a way. I appreciate it, and I'm sure that if you appreciate it, someone else could appreciate it. And I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers this year, 2019. I want to make it happen. 19 is my lucky number. Let's make at least 10,000 10, subs on this channel. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah. So all the best. I've been Paul Oz. You've been great. Thank you for watching until the end. All the very best from the Pacific Northwest. Cheers.